Okay, today we're going to compare the performance of a 400 watt mercury vapor HID lamp uh, and a LED high bay lamp, 150 watt. Both lights are set up in the horizontal plane. We will measure the lux readings at 6.5 meters away from the board here. We will also measure the input watts, the input voltage, the input current, the input frequency and the, and the input power factor for both, for both fittings. And we will also measure the dropout voltage. Uh, you will also see the performance of the light as it turns on and you'll also see the performance of the, of the light as we try to restrike uh, as if we have a, a brown out or a black out where we want to restrike the light. So right now we're going to run the um, LED light up. Okay, we're going to measure the dropout voltage of this LED light now. The LED light, by the way, is cool. It's running at around about 242 volts at the moment. So we're going to wind the voltage down slowly and measure the dropout voltage. So we're at uh, 219, 200, 195, 183, 174, 167, 159, 146, 138, 130, 101, 94, 83, 91, 89, 87, 86, 85, 85. That's it. Now, so just, you can just bring it down. Do it again. Run down, down. 146, 129, 115, 109, 100, 93, 90, 86, 85. So turn it back on. So that shows you that shows you that the dropout voltage of the LED light is much lower than the dropout voltage of the mercury vapor. But also, more importantly, if it does drop out, if it does go down and you have a brown out, the LED light will immediately restrike. And that's the most important differential between the mercury vapor and the LED light. That's it. Okay, here's this is the this is the measurement of the dropout voltage of the of the uh, mercury vapor. We'll gradually wind the variac down, slowly, slowly, slowly. There, 188 volts. 435 watts in here, 154 watts in here. We've got about 135 lum, uh, lux at uh, six and a half meters. You got about 350 lux at three and a half meters. This this light drops out at around about uh, 185 volts. This light drops out uh, at, at about 85 volts.